Now, wash your hands by Mad Carl. At school, the kids were running wild. The thing that kids do best. When Mrs. Moo came into the room with a special guest. Dr. Puss Doris is here today for a really important chat. So make sure that you're listening and sitting on the mat. Hello. I would like to tell you all about something very, very small. In fact, they're so teeny weeny, you can't see them at all. We like to call them germs and it's you they want to hug. We love you, but the only trouble is they can give you a nasty bug. How many germs would fit on this spoon? The first pole in the air was Williams. Is it about 100? He said. Give germs a chance. Go germs. Germs rule. No, it's more like 100 million. We germs. Germs are cool. Germs rocks. But the good news is, there is a simple thing that little germs can't stand. If you don't want them to hang around, all you do is wash your hands. I'm out of here. When you've been down on the farm, Mabel playing with the lambs, do you know what you need to do next? Yes, you wash your hands. Or if you're in the garden with mum, potting up some plants, you wash your hands when you get inside. Don't give those germs a chance. And Kenny, what about in the toilet when you've done a wee or a poo? Do you wash your hands, miss? Yes, it's the only thing to do. The lunch bell rang in the classroom. The kids began to stand. But what do we do before we eat our food? So. Now we wash our hands. Is Dr. Puss not Doris not having lunch? She'll be here in a minute. She's got a lot of hands to wash. Doris handy hand washing song. Wash your hands, it's easy. Wash your hands, it's fun. Wash your hands so you don't pass on germs to anyone. Use lots of soap and water, then dry them when you're done. It's a simple way to keep germs at bay. Wash your hands. So, you sing this when you wash your hands to help you give them a super scrub. <laughs> 